Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna cover how to achieve extremely high frames per second in Windows 10 or Windows 11, so you can have an amazing gaming experience or whatever experience you're trying to achieve. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Follow these steps precisely. Precisely, this is the correct way. So to achieve high FPS, you know, that's frames per second. In Windows, you can optimize your system using the following settings and techniques. Number one, update your graphics and, you know, update your graphics card drivers to the latest version. This ensures you have the most optimized software for your GPU. Number two, enable game mode in Windows. This optimizes your system for gaming by allocating more resources to games. Number three, adjust in-game video settings, lower graphics settings like anti uh, ali aliasing right draw distance and shadow quality to reduce gpu load and increase fps number four change windows power settings to high performance mode this ensures your cpu and gpu run at full capacity number five disable full screen optimizations and override high dpi scaling for games you're going to want to right click the game executable go to properties then compatibility and make this you know these adjustments number six enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling in windows graphics settings this can improve gaming performance number seven add your games to the windows graphics settings and set them to high performance mode this prioritizes gpu resources for those games number eight adjust windows visual effects for best performance uh, you know, you're going to want to go to uh, system properties, then advanced then performance settings and select adjust for best performance. Number nine, clean up your disk to free up resources. Use the built in disk cleanup tool to remove unnecessary files. Number 10, consider overclocking your GPU if you're comfortable with advanced tweaking. This can provide additional performance gains, but should be done carefully. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. You, 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 hit that subscribe button. Number 11, now, use an FPS, FPS booster program like Razer Cortex to automatically optimize your system for gaming. And I'm gonna talk about that later. By implementing these settings and optimizations, you should see a noticeable improvement in your gaming FPS on Windows. Remember to monitor your system temperatures and stability after making the changes, especially if overclocking. Now, what are the top FPS booster programs recommended for Windows. Number one, we have Razer Cortex, that's the game booster. This popular program increases FPS by micromanaging your Windows operating system and non-essential applications. It automatically optimizes your system when you launch a game and restores it afterward. Number two, Smart Game Booster. This free FPS booster and PC optimizer aims to unlock the full potential of your CPU and GPU. It offers features like one-click boosting, driver update, system cleanup, and hardware temperature monitoring. Number three, we have uh, Lego Fast. This FPS booster optimizes CPU usage, overclocks graphic cards, and updates graphics drivers. It provides real-time FPS um, boosting and allows customization of boost settings. You know, these programs generally work by, number one, disabling unnecessary background processes. Number two, optimizing CPU and GPU performance. Number three, updating graphic drivers. Number four, cleaning up disk space. Uh, number five, enabling game mode or high performance settings. Now, while these tools can be helpful, it's important to note that manual optimizations can also significantly improve FPS. Some effective manual methods include, again, guys, because you, you, you know, don't, 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 don't discredit yourself. Do it manually, right? Here are some of the methods, updating graphics and card drivers, adjusting in-game video settings, changing Windows power settings to high performance like we talked about, cleaning up disk space, overclocking for advanced users, okay? I'm saying this again because it's very important, uh, overclocking, right? Uh, so when choosing an FPS booster, ensure you download from reputable resources to avoid potential security risks. That's why it's very important, okay? Additionally, some users report better results from manual optimizations compared to automated tools, so it may be worth trying both approaches to see what works best for your system. So what are the main differences between Razer Cortex and Smart Game Booster? So number one, resource, resource usage. A uh, Razer Cortex tends to be, you know, it tends to use more memory than Smart Game booster which can potentially lead to slightly lower game performance on systems with limited ram number two features uh, razor cortex offers automatic game boosting fps 
FPS tracking and system restoration. After gaming, Smart Game Booster focuses more on FPS boosting, graphic, graphics driver updates, and GPU overclocking. Number three, performance impact. Uh, some users report that Smart Game uh, Booster provides be you know, better FPS improvements compared to Razer Cortex, especially on low-end systems. However, performance gains can vary depending on the specific game and system configuration. Number four, additional tools. Razer Cortex includes features like CPU sleep mode, disabling, and CPU core prioritization for gaming. Smart Game Booster, on the other hand, offers hardware temperature monitoring during gameplay. And number five, this is, you know, you know, I don't know how you guys may feel about it. Popularity, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what you feel about this, right? So, popularity. Razer Cortex is generally more well-known and widely used, especially among gamers with Razer peripherals. So, that was that. Now, let's get into the user interface. While both offer user-friendly interfaces, some users find Smart Game Booster simpler to use. Number seven, system compatibility. So, both uh, Windows 10 and 11, you know, kind of use Razer Cortex also explicitly. Uh, you know, they, they have some support in, in regards to that. So it's worth noting that the effectiveness of these game boosters can vary depending on your specific hardware and games you play. Some users report better results with menu, you, you know, again, I'm gonna keep saying this, manual optimizations rather than using automated tools. The last thing you wanna do guys is solve one problem and create another one right you don't want to solve one problem and create another one you want to solve a problem and <laughs> nothing comes out of that you know we want to make sure that we always have a a a a, a well cybersecurity hygiene great cybersecurity hygiene guys we you don't know what comes with these programs whatever it is so that's what i have for you today please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button right now i appreciate your viewership stay safe and see you in the next video